this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey, everybody. Hey, I'm glad you're back. This is Part D, wrapping up what we did uh, on the 22nd of March. Uh, we, we really got some good, uh, had a good study on the 29th. Uh, I'd like to share with you as soon as I can, but we'll wrap this one up. And I just want to make sure that we, we, we really got across that we just said, let everybody grow at the pace that the Holy Spirit has set for them. I appreciate the devotion, the commitment that every believer <laughs> that's out there has. And I don't want to discredit that. I want to encourage that and appreciate that devotion, the devotion to prayer, the devotion to the Word of God, to the devotion of principles of holiness and living right. I think that's that's what the Lord wants us to continue to move in, into an image of maturity. Amen. The main thing, though, is that we understand that you don't get disappointed because somebody else doesn't have the same commitment to devotion and appreciation for what the Lord has done. Give them time. I'm pretty sure in, in, in the future, in the long run, long way, in long, I guess in the in the long run, they will <laughs> appreciate what the Lord has done for them. They'll look back on how He has carried them through the different challenges of life. Amen? We just don't know how long that takes. And because we don't know no longer how that takes, we will give them, I will give them that that I can see the benefits of a doubt. I don't care if it takes them to be 60, 70 years old to start living a, a life of commitment and devotion to the Word of God. And the things of God. And like I said, well, some of the things we talk about in the video, there's some people who are called to be <laughs> in the club, uh, called to be uh, with people that, 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 that have wild parties, whatever. They did just called to be there. And they're still representing Christ. I know that's something that somebody else said, no, we, we don't want them to do that. that don't, no, well, somebody got to go in there. Says, especially if you're not going in there. Think about it. If you're not going to see, like, we are a part of prison ministry. See, I'm, I go visit the prison ministry. There's a lot of people that don't want to go visit people in the prison. Amen? <laughs> there's some people who don't like to go visit people in the hospital. But guess what? There's people called to go to the prison and, and minister to people in the prison. There's people called to go to the hospital and minister to people that's in the hospital. There's people called to go out in the streets and, and the corners and minister to people in the streets and on the corner. There's people called to go. I don't care whether you like it or not, there's people who go into the club, go into the strip club, go wherever the people are and minister that word of God. And they're minister their way and being effective. Not beating people in the head <laughs> with, with the Bible. But, but just showing the love and mercy of grace of Christ Jesus, man. That's what the gospel is all about. So that's all I'm trying to say. I want, I, I'm not encouraging you to do one thing, but I'm not putting you down if you do something else. All I really want you to do is receive Jesus Christ, be led by the Holy Spirit, and let the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> through the transforming and the renewing of your mind, the Word of God, to become that super saint that God called you to be. And like I said, tell you the truth, you got to be a super saint to go into the club. <laughs> you definitely got to go to super saint if you're going to go ahead into the strip club. Uh, I, I'm not called that. I don't, I don't have the anointing to go into the strip club. And I really don't have the anointing to go into the club, but that's all right. I'm just trying to tell you that it's people that do. Let them do that. I do have anointing to dance a little bit now. I can. It's all right for that, right? I, I, I can dance a little bit. And we do go to, to a lot of the fraternities and sororities uh, <clears throat> and then other people's social functions. So don't, 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 we're not going to put that down, all right? Uh, at least I'm not going to put that down because I think it's, it's cool and sometimes fun. Especially when I was in the military, I used to <laughs> go to balls and stuff and you know, had our dress blues on and, and, and the wives had those nice uh, evening dress on. And, 
and they had music, and they had <laughs> they had the wine, and they had the beer, and everything else too. They had Kool Aid too, and soda. Amen. <laughs> but the bottom line is, I thought it was very enjoyable. It was exciting. It was it was it was good to go out and enjoy. So I'm not going to put that down. I'm not going to put down whether they drank Kool Aid or wine. I, I don't think that's that matters much. What matters is have they accepted Jesus Christ as personal Lord and Savior? So that's the whole focus of this particular series of studies. And I, I want to talk next week, we did on the Bible study uh, about the church and having church anywhere at any time. Amen? All right. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next week. All right? God bless. Bye-bye. Uh, you say, I don't want to be with you. I want to be with him. Now we're preaching. Now, 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 if you want to be with him and, and I'm with him, we good to go. But I want to be with him. And, and the thing about it is where he was, sometimes he went to the club or went to the party. Yes, sir. And he talked to yes, the sir. people. He went, he came to pull the people that, 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 that need to hear the word. And if my understanding is, isn't that what you're supposed to be? If we're gonna be Christ like, why why can't now, see? Cause look, imagine yourself being Christ like, which you're supposed to be. If if I see you, brother Elder, uh, brother Jackson, going to the liquor club, I mean store, I should have sit there and said, why is he going to the liquor store? I should see he's about doing his father's business. Because he ain't going to the liquor store to be like the drunk. He's going there to sit there and talk to the drunk. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. He's going. I mean, I'm trying to say, we, huh? Go ahead. I said, wherever Jesus goes, that's what we should follow. So if hey. Jesus goes to the liquor store, we go to the liquor store. If Jesus goes to the strip club, we go with him. I mean, it's it, it, but it, 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 when it talks about being led in the spirit, I think that's 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 more of it. I cannot look at a man's actions and judge him in accordance with that. Right. This brother is being led in the spirit of God. He need to go where God lead him to go. Come on now. He need to go to the club. Then, hey, I can't sit there looking at He don't need to be going to the club. I don't know if he needs to go in there or not. <laughs> My, if the Lord exactly. leads him that way, then there may be somebody in there he need to go. Exactly. But that's all I want. You, he may be where Chris. That may be where he wants you to be to talk to somebody. He just yes, saying sir. is, don't yes, let, sir. don't let them dominate you. You dominate who you are, and they can just say, man, how can you, how can you enjoy the music? You know, like you like certain music, right? You like certain music. It, why can't I, enjoy, why can't I enjoy the music, man? No, I thought you can't. You wasn't listening to bringing in the sheen. Bringing in the sheen. We are the guy. Yes, <laughs> Opposed to sitting there like, oh, I like some jazz music. And guess what? Mm -hmm. Jesus, Jesus still loves me because I like jazz music. Huh? Jesus still loves me because I eat my, my, my hot wings and my beer. Jesus still loves me because I can see a dance and turn around. You know what? He loves you too, brother. He loves right, you. Yes, if he can love me and I can be here with you, that means he loves you too. Yes, sir. That's what we're trying to say is we're trying to call people into the kingdom and let other people understand the kingdom is not based on what you do. To pay. The kingdom is based on who you receive. I, I, can let me ask you a question if I can. Yes, sir. I think a, a lot of times people base their behavior in the church on Paul's teachings. Yeah. And I don't think the conflict is what Paul taught and what Jesus taught, but we have to really get to the authority and who is the true authority and who it was that Paul was following or should have been following anyway. Right. And he himself said, follow me as I follow Christ. If your sights are set on Paul, you can start kicking people out of church. You know, I mean, and then I think we justify our behavior by saying that Paul says, "Separate yourself from me, people, so forth and so on." Come out from among them, yeah. <laughs> when we went about establishing churches, there were some things that he said. Right. But the image that we're supposed to bring, the we're not Paulians. We are Christians. We're Christ. Yes, sir. And we're Jesus' followers. Yes, sir. To the Lord. Yes, sir. And we need to get a clearer picture of 
who Jesus is and what he approves of and what he's actually doing and what he doesn't. Come on, brother. Jesus' hands were wide open. They were very, they were very wide open. I mean, yes, sir. He was reaching out for everybody. There's one scripture in the Bible that perplexed me when I read it because I was more along the lines of Paul at one point. It said, if a man does not keep my commandments, him I do not judge. Jesus said that. If a man does not keep my commandments, him I do not judge. And I'm looking at that and going like, that's jacked up. But, and I'm judging God, of course. So, what does it mean, basically? If the guy doesn't follow Christ, he's already condemned. Why would he condemn him again? <laughs> there's no need to really talk. Well, there's no really need to beat up sinner. A sinner already headed for hell. So the joint is, let's go get him. <laughs> you know, don't be tossing the fish back in the water and put him back in the lake. We just won't be doing it all weekend to pull them out of it. <laughs> well, uh, but, go ahead. But we, but we live the lifestyle like the Old Testament when the Jews were separating themselves from everybody else and they were the holy ones. So we literally have become Pharisees in the New Testament. Some we of us have, right. The church as it exists now are the new, the, the new scribes and Pharisees. We're the New Testament scribes and Pharisees. That wasn't the Christ. It's still the, it isn't Christ. I know it. Because like I said, we're high. Hey Chris, we're high. We got a little wine. Uh-oh. Somebody coming. Let me let me let me hide the wine. Because they don't like what I'm doing. So so bottom line is yes, that yes, I just sir. I just wanted to say I'm saying I, I sit on both sides and I'm saying is Christ does Christ is not all about who he hangs with. Christ is sitting there saying is I'm going to if I'm if I'm equipped to elder. The whole purpose of the ministry gift is to equip the saints to do the work, Chris. That's, so where the work is at, Chris? The work is not in the four buildings. <laughs> yes, sir. The, 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 the work is out there. Mm -hmm. and, and look, I don't I mean, see Jesus. Look, I don't remember Jesus thumping somebody when he was talking to those group of people. I, matter of fact, let's talk about that wedding he was at or that party he was at. And I don't remember seeing Jesus stomping or talking, beating these people in the head with the Bible, Chris. And, the, and, and, and that this, it was this, it was the publicans, not the publicans. It was the scribes and the Pharisees that had a problem. But I ain't hear nothing about Jesus sitting there telling them, "Y'all got to get saved." Jesus was sitting there saying, "Is fellowship with me? I'm a fellowship with you." Because I'm trying to let you see it's okay to be who you are. I'm not trying to keep you where you are, but you need to start somewhere. Uh -huh. That's all That's I'm trying right to say. There. So you, so I'm saying that so when you're out there, don't be trying to pretend to be something that doesn't both hang around people because they don't do what you do. Be around people and be who you're supposed to be. And if you like your drink, you like your wine, enjoy yourself. I'm not giving permission. I'm just telling you, Jesus liked the wine. <laughs> Jesus liked the fellowship with the publicans and the sinners. Chris, that was Jesus. That was Jesus did. So why can't you? I think there's a there's one scripture that that I mean, we might call it mine. Where it says, "What fellowship does light have with darkness?" So, and then we talk about come out from among them and be separate and all that kind of thing, right? Come yes. out from among the world system. Yes, sir. Be separated from that. Yes, sir. But he also talks about Jesus is at one point he did not want us to become in the world, you know, don't become a part of the world. But we were already called out of that. But he wanted us to be able to be kept while we were in the world. Yes, sir. So the Holy Spirit, it, it, the Holy Spirit in us actually strengthens us. And I'll be honest with you. Yes, you can go to strip club, but if you go in there for entertainment, then that might cause a problem for you. Yes, sir. But if you're really sitting there, if the Holy Ghost leads you into a strip club and you still ain't, ain't going in there, now you're sitting. And I think yes, sir. that's what that's where we have to begin to focus on seeing it was not. Whatever Jesus tells you to do, that's righteous. Whether it's going to the strip club or going inside the church. <clears throat> but if it's not the Holy Ghost that leads you, then that is inherently going to be a sinful life. And what Jesus showed him, I mean, you cannot catch fish if you're not a monk fish. <laughs> right. 
You can't get the heat out the walls of the church and then come back and out there in the street. When you're supposed to be out there in the street with them, trying to bring them into the body of Christ. And that's what we have done. We have established uh, country clubs. That, you know, <laughs> yes. you got country clubs that you got to have on certain clothes to come in. You got to talk a certain way. You got to not look like this. You got to stop drinking, stop smoking, stop doing all this in order to get to our club. That ain't Christ. That ain't Christ. You know, it, I, you know, I don't feel that that's Christ. Well, the thing Christ about it was among the people. Yeah. The thing about what I'm saying is that don't restrict yourself just because they said this is off limit. And and then I'm saying is if there's if people want to see, I think the, the main thing else I'm saying is that people want to sit there and say, "Are you okay? Are you cool? I am cool, Chris. That's all I say. I'm cool. I'm, I I relate to you. I understand where you're at, and I'm not trying to put you down where you're at. I'm just trying to tell you that you can live your life with liberty." And as long as if elder, if he loves the person like going to the strip club, that's their call. That's okay. The believer is trying to change and grow too, and let him grow with his time. That's all I'm trying to say. Uh, let, and let me close out with this, because Brother Jackson can't get ready to go too. Uh, John chapter John three. John chapter three. Hey, 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 Pastor. Yeah. Uh, Jackson want to chime in before he go. Let, let him fire because he's holding something. I think he's holding something. He want to fire right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not there to go anywhere, but I just wanted to, because you guys, when you were mentioning the strip club thing, it reminds me of something I saw on uh, TV a long time ago. And it was about ministers and pastors who actually were in, I want to say, uh, uh, Vegas. And they actually, that's where their ministry was. Okay. And what they did is, because those who were in strip club and those who were in prostitution, and uh, they didn't go simply for the sake of going, but really to find the, the, the souls that are, were, uh, I would say, ready, if you will, or, or, or were seeking um, the Christ. Right. I'll I add something to what um, Jackson was saying to the effect of, like you said, we're not saying. You know, if people that's listening to this, we ain't saying go in the club and act a fool. <laughs> right. You know, because like you say, what we're saying is if we do go in there, sit in the legion, sit in the club, act like we're supposed to and be who we're supposed to, ambassadors for Christ, ambassadors for God, we'll sit there, they will see us in there and might even like stop and look and like, man, if they can sit in here and be civilized and act like they got some sense. Come on. We don't have to be sitting here being gluttonous, being drunkards, acting a fool and being stupid. Right. You can come right. in here and just enjoy yourself, eat you some food, communicate, hang out with some folks, say what's up, give them the word, and keep walking. Keep on walking. We ain't yeah. saying go in there, you know, throwing $100 bills, running around, you know, <laughs> grabbing butts and doing yeah. all that. That's not what we're saying. We're not saying that, exactly. Exactly, and that's that's what God is trying to say. The, the, and and we try, but at the same time, we're also saying is for that person that side they wanted to receive Christ, we got to give them that time to where they want to move away from acting like a fool. Because they first yes, the first thing we want to do is to get them into Christ. That's the main thing I want to do. Get them into Christ. Then we can leave it that right. And and you know last you remember last week we talked about John chapter three, and I'll close with this one. You remember that? Remember we started in verse 18, Chris, last week? Uh, it says, this is John chapter 3, starting in verse 18. He said, he that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not, like you said, Elder Johnson, is condemned already. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. But this is the condemnation, condemnation. The light is coming to the world. And see, men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. But he said, but everyone that does an evil hates the light. Neither comes to the light. They don't come to the light. Lest his deeds should be uh, reproved, right? Amen. Right. But he that does his truth cometh to the light. 
That his deeds, look at this, that his deeds, Chris, may be made manifest. And remember that last script we said, that last word we said last week? That they were wroth in God. What that wroth mean? Remember that last week? Remember what wroth meant last week? Mm -hmm. What you remember? Can you tell us what, to, to your perspective, what wroth means? Oh, wroth. Yeah, wroth. That's like you say, to shape or mold something hard into what you want it to be. And we talking about God in this place, right? Because wroth in God, right? Yes, not in not in mm -hmm. people, but in God. So, Brother Jackson, we're trying to say is we, we, we're calling people to come to the light. Come to the light, mm -hmm. not to be shaped by your perspective or anybody else's perspective. But we want a person to come to the light so they can be shaped by God. Amen. And therefore, their deeds, we want them to put their deeds out there so they can be seen by God. Yes, sir. The reason they like to hang out in the back in the booth in the corner of the dog is because they want to be hidden from God. And we talked about last week, you can't hide from God. Yes, sir. <laughs> but if you think you're hiding because you're hiding from the church, Chris, if you're hiding from the church, then you ain't being shaped. You ain't worried about the church because the church can't shape you. Exactly. So if the exactly. church, hey, look. So if the church shows up <laughs> in, 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 in Legion, I'm using that for an example. But if the church shows up at the at the party, if the church shows up where they at, there's an opportunity for them to understand that God wants you to come so He can work with you. That's all we're trying to say. Amen. Yes, sir. All right, so yes, we did, what I want to do, I did on those slides, if y'all noticed on the slides today, I just want to remind you guys that you, you, if you still want to give, there's that text. Let me put it up here for you. Have y'all seen the opportunity to try that text to give yet? No, I ain't tried it yet. It's, it's uh, just let y'all know, it's very simple. Uh, let me see if I can get it up. I tried it. And uh, it allows you to go ahead and you can put like Chris, you can put five dollars in it, you can put ten dollars in it, you put, <laughs> but you get a you get a receipt from it. It tells you, hey, you you got that, and 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 uh, we get a recording too to see, so we can put it down there. But you can give by text to give is what I'm saying. Is 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 I put the number on the slide so people can do that. Uh, it's easy to write these checks, I guess. <laughs> Brother Jackson, you see that? I mean, Brother Jackson, you see that that number text to give? Yeah, 833 number. Yep. Uh, I see it. Yeah, just test it out, and you can see that's where you can actually uh, uh, give. Especially with this, with this virus, you can't give personally. This is where you can give remotely. <laughs> Amen. 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 All right. Now, so yes, I want sir. I want to close out, but do anybody got their little? Uh, can we do a communion, brother Jackson, where you can pray? We can hear you now. Uh, do, yeah, do, yeah, yeah. Do, I can pray. Do, I don't have anything. Here. You 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 ain't got no so you ain't got no soda, orange juice, and bread in that kitchen. Hey, hey let me. I can. I, I, yeah. Well, let me get go, a minute. Go yeah, get yeah. it. Go get it. Right. Chris. Chris. <laughs> Go get you some bread and some juice or coffee or, or something. <laughs> and Al, I know you got something in the house, don't you? <laughs> I do. Yeah, get you get a get a bread, get a piece of bread. We're gonna break some bread together. And and, and, and we're gonna drink. Either you got grape juice or you got soda, coffee. <laughs> I got some Jack. I got some Jack Daniels. <laughs> hey, look. He, he had wine, so I don't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> got a little Jack Daniels up here. <laughs> hey, hey, all I, hey, look. Hey, Elvis, I know that on the uh, Last Supper, hey, hey, Brother Jackson, he had some wine, didn't he? <laughs> Jesus had real wine. <laughs> Oh, Jesus was a great wine, but he was a moonshiner. No. Come on now. 
But but I know he didn't make that wine for that uh for that last supper. All that was first. Matter of fact, Peter put that up. I think Peter and some other guys got that supper ready, Chris. <laughs> All right, so we got some bread, and we're gonna let Brother Jackson. He, he's anointing that, so we we can't get that we can't get that communion cup full that Brother Jackson is famous for making. <laughs> hey, Brother Jackson, that's anointing, brother. You know how to make. <laughs> he knows how to make that communion cup full. <laughs> And you told the disciples that when they communed with one another in fellowship with one another, that we should do these things. <laughs> and right now, praise God, through technology, we can have this communion service. Amen. And I'm you, dear Jesus, the Son of God, God the Savior, I am the Lord. So right now, Jesus, we take this bread that's in our hands. We take it and eat it in remembrance of you. Amen. Amen. I wonder what Brother Jackson did different, Chris. He, he came in clear toward the end. But I'm not sure what, what caused that breakup. Do you Tell know? You, um, because I'm breaking up. Why don't, you, uh, why don't you do it? Because I think everybody can hear you, Pastor. Yeah, I just want to, because you came in, I just wonder what happened for you, uh, something, something, I'm not sure what's causing that, but yeah, we got you good at the end, we did, but it was crowded at the end, so let's go ahead and get this, uh, cup. Okay. All right, dear Heavenly Father, the yes, sir, I'll do it. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask you, Lord, to bless this cup for the, the, the represents the blood of Jesus Christ. This is the blood that was spilled on Calvary. To wash away our sins, allow us to come into the covenant of God Almighty. This is the blood that when we go before Jesus, we go before God Almighty, it is covered with the righteousness of God. This is the blood that heals our body. This is where the stripes of his, by his stripes we are healed. This blood from the wounds of Jesus healed our body. We use this, Father, to heal our land. Live our, to heal our body, heal our country, heal this world of this pestilence. We declare in the Amen. name of Jesus that the blood of Jesus is washed over every believer in this world. Healing everyone, let everybody know and give God the glory that is His will that we are healed. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. 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 Praise God. And at the same time, like I said, don't forget to, to, uh, to use the text to give if you can. Amen? Okay. Hey, hey Chris. I